See, it's just very easy. And it saves your time massively, I would say. It's just massively, it's very helpful. Hello guys, welcome back again. So today, I'll show you how to use selection tool to speed up the process of making the illustrations. There's normally few different steps for it. And normally that'll be the rough. So that means sketching something out and then use line art to map up the contour. And the base color is something I'll show you later, which is very helpful and also speeds up your process of flat color and shading and the highlights and the texture afterwards. But then you know that the shading highlights textures for, as well for the clothes and the hair as well, and the final touch and the background as well. So how do we do it? So this is a line art that I made yesterday. It's actually very good. <laughs> Thank you. And normally what I used to do is that when I want to start coloring these kind of things, I use fill tool and I just, but then you can see that this, it doesn't really do the job because some parts of the area it sort of like doesn't connect to each other and I'm quite tired of like connecting each area. Another way that I used to do is that I used to just color it, you know, just, just color this area. But then it's sort of like go over it. So you have to use like, like eraser to rub it out. So it's still very slow as well. We can use selection tool to speed up this process. But before that, we need to understand some basics for selection tool. So this is the freehand selection tool. So if I circle it, I can go here. You can see that the white area is being selected and the red part means that it's unselected. So you can't really draw on it. So if I use line, you can see that I can only draw on this area, obviously. And for selection tool, if you press shift, and circle it, it adds extra area of it. If you press Alt, then it remove it. Okay. <clears throat> if you press Control Shift I, it inverts the selection area. And if you use Control Shift A, then it deselect it. Very easy. And there are four different selection tools that I normally use. And the first one is, as you can see, the freehand selection tool. It's mainly for like adjustments for like, oh, for example, if I don't want, I want this hair to be slightly towards the left, you use it and then you use T and then move it around. The other one is called contiguous selection tool. So it, what it does is that it select the well-defined area. So if I, for example, if I select this area, you can see that because the lines around it are all connected. So they, it is being selected. If I select this area, this area, but if I select outside, you can see that it still doesn't work because some parts of the, the line art I did are not connected. Uh, the next one is curve selection tool. So what it does is that it, you can like, it's sort of like the freehand selection tool, but it's more delicate. So you can like tap different areas. So tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. So that you can map out the contour more easily. And then if I press, it should be Alt. So if I press here, press Alt, then it's just deselected. And then you can see that this area is being nicely selected or deselected by other means. But the final tool is probably the best tool that I want to show you which is the magnetic selection tool. So what it does is that, uh, actually I don't want to use this area. So for example, if I press this area and if I drag, it just helps me to, it just follows along your line art basically with the computer power. So it just follows along it. And then if I just press this area, wait for it a little bit and then press this area and then press enter. Good, see? It's just very easy. And it saves your time massively, I would say. It's just massively, it's very helpful. So now we're just, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I can select this line art very fast using mainly the magnetic tool, but also the contiguous tool as well.
Okay, guys. So you can see that it's well lean, very nicely selected. And then if you go here and then start to perfect. See, good. So now you have the very nice, well done base color for you. And now if you want, you can use alpha lock, which is this one. So that you can start uh, the, the shadings. So for example, if I want this part to be shade, and then you can start your process. So that means I, you're currently here already, and then you're here. So you speed up this area very fast using selection tool. Okay, so thank you very much. That's the end of the video and I hope you can use the selection tool to speed up the process and make more illustrations. I'll put the completed uh, illustrations of the line art in my Instagram and link in the description. So go and have a look. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns regarding to selection tools or figure drawing, feel free to comment below or DM me in the Instagram. We'll see what we can do for it. So good luck, have fun and see you in the next video. Bye.